Week three in the books. Welcome back everybody if you're new to the channel. Hit the subscription button for me quick. Went four and one, best week yet. Overall, I'm 10 and five, 66%. Let's get into week three. Game number one that I bet, Cleveland Browns did it for me again. 26 to six over the Bears. The Browns defense looked unbelievable. I believe they had eight or nine overall sacks. Miles Garrett had you know, four or five sacks himself. Baker looked good, no picks this game. Odell was back, even though Jarvis is still hurt. The Browns just look good, okay? They have one of the best running back cores in the NFL, if not the best, and their defense looks solid. I like the Browns and I'm probably gonna keep betting them. I don't know if I'll take them this week in week four against the Minnesota Vikings. It's in Minnesota, I believe, we'll see. Anyways, great game for the Browns. They improved the two and one, and they got another win for me. Game number two, Arizona Cardinals versus the Jaguars. Cardinals were actually down at half, but they came back in the second half and won 31 to 19. Great win again for the Cardinals. They're undefeated. I like this Cardinals team, okay? Granted, they haven't been playing the best teams. Jaguars are probably, you know, one of the worst teams in the NFL, if we're being honest, but a win's a win in the NFL, especially on the road. I'm gonna probably keep betting the Cardinals as well when they play these type of teams. I don't know if I'll bet them against more elite teams moving forward, but when they get matched up against teams like the Jaguars, the Jets, the Falcons, I'm probably gonna take them. Guys, game number three, this game was a little wild. The Raiders versus the Dolphins. And another game going on while this game was going on, and I actually turned off this Raiders-Dolphins game because I thought the Raiders had it locked up. Well, I turned it back. Dolphins actually tied it up. They came from behind, brought it into overtime. It was a crazy overtime game. Raiders won again. Raiders are undefeated. I don't know if I'll bet the Raiders moving forward. They looked a little shaky. Keep in mind, Jacoby Brissett, even though he looked good, he's the backup for Miami. So... I don't know how good the Raiders are, but they keep sneaking out these games, and they got it done for me. The Raiders I had at a minus 150. They were my biggest win of the week, so I was pretty hyped to see them win. I was watching that game in overtime. I was like, just please finish. I did not want a tie either, but the Raiders got it done again. 31-28 over the Dolphins in Las Vegas. Game number four, this was at a minus 500. Broncos, 26 over the Jets, okay? 26 nothing. The Jets didn't score at all. I'm telling you guys, the Jets are the worst team in the NFL. You have to keep betting against the Jets. I don't know who they play against week four, but whoever it is, I'll probably bet for them money line. The Jets are terrible. I don't know if they win a game at all this year, okay? I really don't know if they do. Like I said, I don't think their new quarterback's very good, Wilson. I don't even know how many picks he threw this game. Let's look real quick. Wilson for the Jets. Okay, he had two picks this game. He was 19 of 35, 160 yards, two picks. Guys, I don't know. Zach Wilson, he's had a tough start. It's kind of like how Darnold was when he was at the Jets. You know, maybe this kid struggles for a, for a couple of years and then goes to another team, but the Jets are terrible. They are so bad. I'm going to keep betting against them. And then for game number five, let's get into this. This is something I want to talk about, guys. The Kansas City Chiefs. I've now bet them every single game this year, and I'm one and two. If you would have told me if you bet the Kansas City Chiefs all three games in September and you'd be one and two, I wouldn't believe you. But that's where I'm at right now with the Chiefs, okay? One and two after betting them every single week. And I can't be mad at anyone but myself because I had people tell me, don't go and bet on the Chiefs this week, okay? Herbert's the real deal. And I was wrong. I had a lot of people that proved me wrong. And Herbert did what Mahomes couldn't, okay? Herbert was clutch. He played unbelievable. And he really could win the MVP this year, okay? It's weird seeing the Chiefs in last place in their division, but if their defense doesn't get it together, the Chiefs won't even make the playoffs. Okay, I think they'll be fine, but right now, the way they're projecting, they don't look good. Keep in mind, guys, 
this game was in Kansas City. They're supposed to be unbelievable at home. They're not supposed to lose at home. So my gut tells me to put the house on KC next week against Philadelphia. It's in Philadelphia, but I don't know if I can trust this team. I'm one and two, and they've lost me $2,000 in the last two weeks, but it is what it is. That's the game you play. So next week against the Philadelphia Eagles, I don't know if I'll take them, but like I said, something tells me I should just put the house on it against Philadelphia. I don't know what the line is yet. I'll check it in a few days, but man, I don't know the Chiefs. The Chiefs, I did not expect them to be one and two after three weeks. Guys, leave in the comments below what you think the Chiefs will do moving forward. If you think they'll make the playoffs or if you think this will just keep continuing and they'll just keep losing games because I don't know, over the last two years, they've made it to the Super Bowl, obviously, but I don't know. It's weird seeing them last place in their division. Let me know what you guys think, though. Again, I'll make my week four picks out probably Wednesday or Thursday. Keep an eye out for that. But guys, and until then, thanks again for tuning in. Hit that subscription button if you're new. And until next video, I'm out.